Hi, everybody. Yeah, we are. We're live right now. Come How did you know? Right hey, guys. Welcome back. It's the third Friday with the Fizzinos. Heather's on her way over. Welcome to our dining room. Um, we are here today. It's like we took a really far trip. What? Oh, yeah. We're here today, and quarantine we are traveling. making quarantines. We are. Yes. So, you take it over. I have to feed the baby so that... Right. That's what we're doing on this side. Of yes. <laughs> on this side of the screen is a hungry, hungry hippo. So, I'll be over here while Heather walks you guys through how to make... Okay, yeah. So, first things first, you have to make your quarantini. Um, this started... I don't even know. Yeah, I what's mean, the origin of it actually quarantine? sounds a little crazy, but we keep like a stocked full bar in the house. Well, all that's the time. Not, it's not that crazy. We're always hosting. We have, we have a lot of parties and stuff. Um, whether it's friends, family, both, we literally have a full stock bar from like gin, tequila, rum, like everything all all the time. Um, but in terms of mixers, we usually don't have a lot in the house, though, unless we have specifically something going on. So the quarantine started because of this. Um, I love iced tea. I make iced tea multiple times a day. Uh, so that's kind of where it came from. And I love peach iced tea. So that's kind of what the quarantine tastes like. You can change it a little bit if you want. You can just do uh, lemon juice instead of adding in peach schnapps. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to make one. Um, yeah, so like, why don't you go through each ingredient while everyone's coming on hi everybody <laughs> welcome back hey everybody <laughs> we're um, a little far here so if we can't see your questions there we'll get to them i promise oh i know Fred. here's your food here. she's like no i don't want to <laughs> oh, no. so it's two parts vodka there's your strawberry one part peach schnapps <laughs> i feel so bad for her yeah, she's teething teeth. so bad she has two teeth coming in there One part go. iced tea. Some agave. Um, I'm, I, I really like sweet drinks, so I How usually much put of that? I usually put extra in mine. Um, honestly, to taste, it depends. If you like sweet drinks, I would put like maybe a little more than a tablespoon in. Oh. Um, I, no, I'm literally I have no idea how to make this so I just I try to watch her do it, and I've, along with it I've tried to make it myself and it just it doesn't taste as good so that's why I'm like you know what have you take the floor and then just a little bit of lemon juice so it kind of tastes like uh like lemon iced tea and peach and then you <laughs> I'm like this is our first happy hour here on Friday at the Cusinos all right and you guys have to make sure that you Send pictures of your quarantinis oh or anything that you've drank, but uh, like especially if you guys can master this, like I can't, um, and take a picture, send it to Only Good TV after, and they'll post it for you. Showing There's the support one. of the quarantini. Would you like to start or do you want me to start? Drinking? Yeah, drinking. You know you do. <laughs> Sorry, I under poured you slightly. Of course. Yeah, right. <laughs> Again, for anybody who's joining, I'm so sorry. sorry. Joining now, welcome back. This is our third Friday with the Fizzinos. Today we are doing a quarantine Q and A. That's good. We just kind of wanted to answer some of your questions. Um, Let me random as they might be, or totally spot on, or anything in between. We totally thank you so much for even just you know reaching out to Only Good TV to my platform. That's me. Yeah, that's you. Oh, I'm I was actually, like, are you on live like, with us? Hi, Ashley. I'm like, I'm trying to see everybody who's on here right now. Oh, that's awesome. It's a good um, idea. See, that's why we keep her around. <laughs> All right, let's see. Are you see. okay, Freya? Yeah, I feel so bad. We'll show you guys Freya in just a little bit. She's just trying to eat, teething. She popped two of her front teeth. Like, they're coming poor in. This poor thing. So, uh, let's so start happy. with the questions that you guys sent into Only Good so we can do that as we drink. Cheers. Cheers to, to the quarantine. Teeny happy hour. Cheers to everybody being safe, everyone being healthy, um, keeping yourself safe and healthy. If, you know, anything has happened with, you know, family member, yeah. loved one, we are like here for you. You're in our prayers and we are all going to get through this together. And that's just another reason why we do this platform. Uh, we do this live on this platform every week. Something to kill some time. Yeah. I'm like normally. With all the time that we have right now. Normally, <laughs> normally we kill about 15 to 30 minutes every Friday. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. This isn't bad. I wish it was a little colder. I'm actually just going to add ice to mine. Do you feel um, that way or no? No, I'm okay. I'm more of a tequila person, so anything with vodka, I'm just going to... Oh, but it's gluten-free, and we love Tito's. They're amazing for animals and, and everything, so I love them. They're an amazing <laughs> company. Okay. 
Um, first question is, how did you find an OBGYN doctor that was LGBT friendly when it came to insemination? Oliver, do you want to answer? <laughs> no? Okay. He's like, well. We tried. <laughs> so, okay. Um, when we decided that we wanted to get pregnant, mm-hmm. the first thing that we did was we started researching, but we also got references from friends, family, like yeah, oh, and- my, my OBG, like himself. Yeah, and um, he suggested... Oh, uh, the fertility doctor that we actually ended up going to. Who was, um, uh, he was just yeah, he amazing. Was amazing. And they did actually, they had an entire, like, kind of like an entire section on the website that, like, had, like, a like a pride flag and said, you know, that. Yeah, for they, same-sex families. Yeah, and, yeah. That this was something that they worked with. Um, so it, it really wasn't as hard as you would think. Uh, maybe it's because we live in New York, I'm not sure, but it wasn't difficult to find. I feel as though a lot of fertility clinics now as like reciprocal IVF or RIVF is becoming much more popular in the lesbian community um, for like for bearing children and having children that way instead of just regular like IUI. Um, I think that more companies are just like, hey, you know, come on, we're bring on the games. We love you guys. So (laughs) that was really kind of easy. It's sorry to make that, you know, such a short answer, but it really was just a lot, just research. Yeah, Frey, that's how you That's how you got here, yeah. That's how you got here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody, if you've just joined. And sorry, like I said, we can't answer the questions or wave back. We're just a little far, but we will get to you guys. We're just with our quarantine. We're having a quarantine happy hour here for Friday at the Fizzinos. We're making quarantinis. Oh, I finished my two. I'm so Don't sorry. Don't do that. Next question is, what meals are you guys cooking during the week or meal rotation? Okay, wait. So this entire, <laughs> so during this entire quarantine, I have been, like, over-terrified a little bit. So yeah. I haven't allowed Heather to order in food <laughs> once. <laughs> Which is crazy because I, I definitely usually do the majority of the cooking I can cook. Oh, yeah, I can cook I, I enjoy cooking, but um, when I'm super lazy, which is quite often... <laughs> Um, a lot of times I end this up... This is good. Sweet potato. Yeah? Yeah. We I puree mean, all her food. I'm not eating Sweet potato food. oatmeal? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Um, we usually order out, what, two to three times a day, usually? Yeah. So, we basically, <laughs> since I, you know... Yeah. Oh! So, yeah, now... Since Frey we, came along. Yeah, since Frey came along, um, we were, we were ordering out a lot more just because it was nice. It was easier, you know, whatever we ordered, just throw it in the fridge so it was already done and prepped for when we had a chance to eat, when we were ready, whatever. So now we've literally been cooking three days, I mean, three meals a day in the house. Uh, What are the types of meals that we've been eating? Mostly vegetables. We've really been focusing back on being vegan since I was vegetarian during my pregnancy because I craved eggs and cheese, like I can't even tell you. So now we're really getting back and having, we're having vegetables like three, three, t- almost three times a day. Like yeah. we make vegetable medley where <laughs> it's every vegetable in the house it's like and then vegan fry. cheese on top. Like yeah. that's literally what it's been between tacos. Um, we've made um, a, a lot, lot of, of tacos. I love a lot tacos. Of tacos. That's my favorite. Um, we <laughs> actually, a lot of carbs. <laughs> yeah. We were able to get um, impossible ground beef. Uh, it yes. was frozen at the grocery store. So we've been doing a lot of tacos with that. Um, like I said, a shit ton of vegetable medley. Yeah, breakfast is usually special. Um, not this is special K cereal. Is that what we? What is it? Yeah, yeah. Breakfast is usually their special K or just egg if I can get it from the grocery store. Oh my store. god, just egg sandwiches. Um, yes. I don't know where everybody's tuning in from, but at, in New York, I know at least in Long Island, it's a little difficult to get eggs at the grocery store here and there. There's yeah. a limit on what you can get and when you can get it. So originally. When it was really, really hard to get eggs, yeah, like, every worse it, than it yeah, was now. It was, it we was were kind able, of we got what we got, and yeah, we, we were able to get it. a few bottles of just eggs, so that was cool. Anybody who doesn't know what that is, um, it's a vegan egg substitute. It's fantastic. You really it's wouldn't, so good. you wouldn't so even good. realize that it's not egg. Uh, when you put it on as like an egg sandwich, mm-hmm. a lot of people do like egg and cheese or egg and vegan cheese with it, or egg vegan cheese and uh, vegan sausage with it. It's fantastic. Um, so that's besides, you know, that for breakfast, mm-hmm. we've been doing vegan mac and cheese. Yeah. Pretty much with everything. broccoli, hot sauce. I feel like I put hot sauce on every meal oh my and God. now Kristen's been doing that too. Yeah. Everything is like, everything is a car, like carb and hot sauce. <laughs> like especially pasta. Like when I tell you, like 
that's really what we stopped. We're up Italian. On. It has to be pasta. Yeah. Yeah. And we oh, and you keep making quarantine olive vodka, which yes. is, maybe which we'll is, do that next week. Which is basically penne olive vodka, but I don't have every single ingredient for penne olive vodka. And since we're not using <laughs> half and half, uh, we or been, cream. Yeah, we've been doing all different, you know, adaptations. Yeah, it's been a concoction. So I've been calling it quarantine olive vodka. <laughs> so funny. Um, hey, we've been pretty much making what we can get. Yeah. 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 I'm so sorry, Frey. Um, okay, next question is, what in your life do you feel the most grateful for? Freya. Definitely. Don't even need, that's done. Freya. <laughs> Definitely, 100%. The baby. You're like, I'm going to cry. No, I love her. Yeah, no. <laughs> the baby, she's been, like, just an unbelievable addition. I don't know what we would be doing, like, quarantined without her being here. Like, yeah, I, no, I, I think about that all the time because she obviously. Yeah, you actually always ask me that. Yeah, she, she takes up a lot of our day, obviously, yeah. <laughs> taking care of her. She's super important. From how many meals to bottles to baths to playing yeah. to just teaching her things. It's yeah. been. And even, like, le- sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's even, okay. like, last week when you guys tuned in and you saw that we were, like, pureeing all of our food, that's also, we spend, we have spent the majority of this quarantine in the kitchen. Definitely. That has literally been, like, the place that we have been. For the majority of the day, whether yeah. we're prep, like prepping food for us or prepping food for the dogs or the cat or the baby. <laughs> like, yeah, just, 100%. We have surrounded ourselves with like food this entire quarantine. Um, next question, how to keep a happy marriage? Fight. Fight, fight, <laughs> fight constantly, fight often. No. No. It, everyone says communication is key, but it's really comprehension is key. So you can talk and talk and talk and have a million conversations, but if you don't hear each other and you don't really like put what they're saying like to right to the relationship it doesn't really matter how many times you talk or if you talk to a therapist or anything because you have to put the effort into making the changes and I think also loving your partner the way they need you to love them not the, not necessarily the way you think that they need to be loved I know that kind of sounds weird and I agree yeah right maybe can you like explain that better than I can yeah I mean I think a lot of people maybe uh you know do this things really for the good. person oh good I'm glad do things for I'm the like person miser. <laughs> do things for the person that they're with just based on what they would assume that the other person needs but I think listening and having really healthy communication is probably the best thing that you can do because yeah unless you're constantly communicating I feel like even in terms of Things that you like and things that are like the most basic of what you need out of a relationship. If you ask the person that you're with to reiterate what all those are, I think... A lot of people have a hard time with that. I I, I think so, especially if you had to order them and have them numbered and what's the most important to what's the least important, like one out of ten. I think most couples would a thousand percent get that wrong. wrong. (laughs) Okay, so here you go. Therapeutic quiz for you and your spouse that can go either really good or really bad. It's it's a great time to do it when you're locked in the house together. (laughs) You're right. Work out everything you have to. (laughs) But you know, it is. It's just, it's being fair. It's splitting. It's splitting things 50-50. Definitely. Or, you know what? Not even, because I think that's cliche. I think it's... Sometimes it's it's just sometimes split. it's sometimes more it's ninety or less than 50, ten. Sometimes 50, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and try to do math. But as long as someone has like this like is like the strong rock at the at the one point when yeah. you, like your other partner like needs you to be. It's got you have to be flexible. Like that's you know. Hey great. Um next question is how's your day going? Oh, today's a little hectic. Good. Yeah, today is a little hectic. Poor Frey is teething really, really badly, so it's been like she's attached to us all day. Yeah. And even sometimes when we're holding her, she's still not really even comfortable or happy because she's cutting two teeth on the, At the same front time. bottom. Yeah. At yeah. the same time, I feel really bad. She's just gnawing on everything in her hands, and her poor teeth are bleeding. I just feel terrible. Hi, everybody. It's me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Can we take your bib off? You're all dirty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, okay, next question. What city would you most like to live in? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Anywhere in California. Besides being here, Los Angeles. Really? Oh, I'd rather be in Los Angeles I really, really, really do enjoy going to California. We visit often. Oh, my God, Freya. I do. I totally enjoy it. I would love to get an apartment there. But I still do love living here, though. And Uh, I can't. I'm a little over New York. I'd much rather be in Los Angeles. It's warm all the time. I feel like everybody who's quarantined in LA, aside from like the heat that's like happening right now, but like I love you. I feel like everybody's so much happier. Like that that video on Instagram that's been like going around where it's quarantine New York versus like California. California. Yeah. Oh my god, I do. I just love it there. I, I I would just so much rather be there in like a tempered climate that's warm all the time. I agree. Um, what time does Freya wake up in the morning? Uh, whatever Freya wants. Six a.m. usually. Mm, 4.30, between 4.30 and 6.30. Yep. 
So yeah, it's whenever she wants. She's doing so well sleeping in her crib by herself. Um, she really only wakes up once in the middle of the night still, and sometimes yeah. it's for love, and sometimes it's for food or a diaper change, but... Yeah, but other than that, yeah, yeah she does. She We kind of go by her schedule, so... Yes, you run the show, Mama. Yeah. But again, hi, if anybody else has joined us and we haven't been able to, like, check in with you guys again, this is, you know, another edition of, you know, Quarantined with the Fizzinos, <laughs> Friday with the Fizzinos. We are drinking Heather's really, really great Quarantini. Quarantini. So, it's happy hour. Make yeah. your drink. And we're Have answering all your questions. We're doing our Q&A. All right, so let's see. You yeah. hold her and let's see what the next... What's the next one, Frey? Okay. What time does Frey wake up in the morning? What do you eat during a day? So we kind of touched, yeah, we kind of touched that. upon that a little um, bit. But it really, at this point, because we've almost run out of groceries, it's whatever's in the cupboard. There's an app. I forgot what it's called because I have to remember it right now, of course. <laughs> um, so there's an app that you can actually put in the ingredients that you have in your fridge and it makes meals for you. So It'll that's tell you what you can make amazing and has been like pretty much a very much a lifesaver. Yeah. Um, and then how do you keep peace in a relationship and slash compromise? You just have to be selfless without losing yourself. Yeah. I think that's a really difficult <laughs> concept for a lot of people. Does that make sense? I feel like that's super difficult even saying it like that. Yeah. No, it's it's true. I think it it takes it a lot of work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody really, like, wants to be married and play house and have a baby and things like that. But I, we can totally, like, contest to the fact that marriage is super, super hard. And having oh, a baby, definitely. you know, kind of like puts a whole new it's a whole, ring of fire it's a whole other animal. <laughs> into arguments and everything. So it is, it can be difficult, but as long as you guys are both wor- like working at it and you don't fall out of love at the same time, I think you're good. I think that's like another huge thing. What, that you a lot of people fall out of fall love, out of love at the is, same time? Yeah, both people can't, yeah. Right? It's true. That's You're like, yes, I'm feeling that. I want to kill you today. <laughs> yeah, no, today, I told you today, today's been a day, so we're very happy to be here. You guys are such a good diversion from our day today. <laughs> we're very excited to be here, very excited to see you, and we just <laughs> wanted to say thank you for coming back. Yes. And I'm going to actually go up there and grab the phone so that we can see everybody's questions. I'm curious to know what everybody feels like has been the hardest part of this quarantine, I think, for us, especially for me. The hardest part of this quarantine has been keeping the house clean in terms of the fact that we're inhabiting all of our house, like 24-7 now, yeah. when before it was, you know, we would go to work, come home, or I would just go to work, come home, and we'd be in like a specific like one room or this room and kind of then go up to bed. And now it's kind of like we're in every single room in this house, yes, and it's very difficult to keep all of that clean. You're throwing the lids. That's not very nice. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We're coming back over. Welcome to our dining room that we bought two tables. Because we have so <laughs> many people usually at every holiday. And of course, we're having no one at any holiday right now. <laughs> hey, Gab. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so let's wave to everybody who we've missed. Let's go back. Hi, everybody who's just joined again. I'm Kristen. This is Heather. Hi. This is Freya. We're the Fizzinos. And this is our third Friday with the Fizzinos. And it's your uh, quarantine Happy hour edition. Oh, we love you too. Let's see. Let's keep going up. I got I to gotta get... Oh, that's. this is our living room. This is where we've been stuck. Yeah. All the baby toys are starting to completely take over the house. To pile up a bit. Yep. Yeah. They're starting to take over the house. Right, Freya? What do you say? Let's see. She's like, I just want to jump. Just trying to wave at everybody here. She is very precious. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, she's not looking. Oh, I thought she was looking. Hi, Frey. Look. She says hi to you. <laughs> Frey, can you say hi back? Do you have any other questions that we haven't? I'm actually through? getting through everybody who's joined, which I can't believe how many people are here. Hello from Greece. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Oh, my God. No, really, Sheila, you need to try them. They are fantastic. The um, no, or no, just no, eggs? just eggs. <laughs> well, both. No, but both just are eggs great. are fantastic. And they're starting to pop up in multiple, um, like, food establishments mm-hmm. and multiple grocery stores. Or yeah. you, I think you can go on the Just Egg website. I don't know. I, originally, I know that you could only order them if you were an actual, like, food distributor. But, yeah. But I'm so glad that we could open up your eyes and ears and, you know, I know really, it, It's too. fantastic. You would never really know the difference. No, sometimes it's prefer, better. I actually prefer the taste. 
Yes. Over eggs. Like definitely 100%. They really are they're really good. It's just hard to find them now. And I love all the memes that people are like, oh, there's there's uh no regular food and all vegan food in the grocery <gasps> store. Yeah, like, we That's... can't get any of our meat alternatives. So what are you talking I'm about? Like, there's no vegan food in the grocery stores anymore. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. All right, so you want to go maybe back over one more time? One more time if anyone make, wants to make a quarantine. Yeah. So, okay, so here we go. So Heather has decided to use Tito's as her two, vodka of choice. Two parts Tito's, one part peach schnapps. One part iced tea. I make iced tea here at home constantly, so I have a little bit left over from today. Um, this is really dumb. If people haven't made iced tea ever before at home, uh, you can just make hot tea with a regular tea bag. Uh, you make sure it's really concentrated, really strong, and then once it uh, cools off, you can mix it with um, regular cold water, and there you have iced tea. It's, um, usually I put about a tablespoon of agave, depending on how many drinks I'm making. That was... I like really sweet drinks. Kristen does not. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm really sorry, guys, because that was totally like an under <laughs> shot of myself. I'm so sorry. And then just a splash of lemon <laughs> juice. I can't get down, like, waving at you guys without flipping You're like, hey. Without flipping the camera. There yes. we go. Are you oh, so a, time? a question that we missed actually. So we had Freya um, IUI. We had her just like intrauterine insemination. So that was just the regular. I went in. I was inseminated, and then two weeks later, we found out we were pregnant. It was. I love how you say that so easily. And then just like two weeks, we found out we were pregnant. No, okay. really no, no, no. Two no. Weeks, the two, two weeks were hard. Were like it was agony. a really sad, really hard, hard, hard wait. One hundred percent. You definitely need to get like some kind of hobby. It's yeah. Start knitting. Oh my god, anything. Do but puzzles. I, I, I don't knitting care. might be too calm for the weight, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hulk here just loves to smash everything all day. She like everything does. is just banging and hitting. Yeah, she does. Strong. Okay, so I've gotten through. No, I haven't. <laughs> I thought I waved everybody, but I didn't. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Art. Thank you. We worked really hard on our home, actually. It's always constantly a work in progress. When we moved in, we we're like, oh, it's so great that this house is moving ready. We've changed almost everything about this house. Yeah. So, <laughs> I know, seriously, yeah. Okay, so let's see. So a couple questions again that we have missed. So Freya is six months. She's actually almost, she'll she's be almost seven, seven months. Yeah, she'll be seven months on the fourth. I wanna... Calendar, but she's already <sighs> seven months week-wise. Yeah, no. Yeah. You're so big. Oh my God! Look, I raised five grand. I, I whoops. Hold on, let me try that again. I raised five children, and I've been blessed with twelve precious wow. grandchildren. That is amazing. We both are only children, and we come from like smaller families. Oh, not you. I not come from me. a smaller family. Heather has a larger family, but our like, immediate family. Are, yeah, are, they're, they're smaller yeah. immediate families. So having a larger family of our own, like having two more children, is like super important to Heather and I. So that's definitely something that we are going to do. How excited are you, Frey? Okay, so if you don't know what we're talking about because you just got here, um, today is a quarantine day. Heather has made up a quarantine drink um, that she's been drinking, you know, for 30 for days. 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the ingredients, I think, are, only good, are on Only Good TV's story and our stories as well. Yeah. Um, and we've just been answering questions that people have sent in. So it's been a quarantine Q and A. Yeah, it's actually and... gone to the point that we've been using pureed fruit for the baby in drinks. Yes, I made we a have strawberry one. Ricky last week. That was fantastic with strawberry puree. Yeah, thank you for lending me some. We Frey. got Freya's ears pierced at three months old, and I have to say, it definitely was. Are you? Is she okay? She wants to be with you. Yeah. Okay. So let's <laughs> switch. So you tell about the ear piercing experience. Oh, getting her ears pierced. Actually, it's crazy because we have it on video. Um, the video is horrible. No, the video it's is so really sad. not that bad. No, it really Kristen is. Kristen is very upset about the video still because she feels like, I guess that Freya cried a lot. I really don't. She cried for like a grand total of maybe 12 seconds. But it's that first initial, you know, you could see it. It's all over her face and she's like. The first initial shock. And we brought her to, like, Poor baby. a specific... Yeah, we brought her to a place that only does ear piercing. Uh, they don't use piercing guns. They're piercing cartridges only. Just because I can't tell you how many bad piercings I've had from, like, random mall kiosks and Claire's and random yeah. things like that where the piercings have gotten either infected or they yeah. didn't come out right and yeah, I've had to take just, them out. We're super happy, though, that we got her ears pierced when we did because honestly, she wasn't yeah she wasn't able to pull at them no and she pulls on them now yeah so we're very happy that we did it because six months is way too late 
Um, and I was super against it. Can you? Just at least now they're already like her ears are basically healed. Yeah. So I was it's super not against as... it at first, but then. Oh, and there's a cat hair on her. Oh, wonderful. Arm. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Let's wave. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Say, so I'm. My name is Freya, and I'm named after a Nordic goddess of love, fertility, and war. Yes. Yes, and war. And I'm almost seven months old. Yes. And I am raising hell. Oh, she's seething. It's not her fault. Oh, I feel terrible for her. But hello again to anybody who's joined. Welcome to the quarantini edition of... Um, of Friday I'm like quarantine at the with the <laughs> Um, I, I would say um, I, I'm happy that we got her ears pierced so early, Me though. Me too. I am because she wasn't she wasn't really able to pull at them, so they they didn't get infected. Yeah, which is good. So, and again, we just you know want to reiterate to everybody you know aside from you know the ear piercing conversation <laughs> that we hope everybody's staying safe. It is it's a really scary time right now, so we just hope that yeah. you know you join us on Fridays. We can kind of keep your mind off of it for a half an hour. Stay safe. You know, wash your hands. Wear your gloves. Wear your masks if it makes you feel better. Um, and if you have any ordinances, just, you know, be respectful of other people because there are, obviously we know there are so many people who are affected by, you know, what's going on right now. So just love each other, love the earth and be careful. It's Arbor Day. Yeah. Oh, it is. Happy Arbor it is, Day. Arbor it was Day. Earth Day uh, oh, a couple of days ago. We actually, it? we have another question. How did you choose the donor? What's the process? Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. So we actually went through a I'm company. Like, I picked him? <laughs> we, yeah, I, I actually picked him. Originally, Kristen was like, no, I don't think I, I, I want to pick him. I'd rather somebody who looks like a little more like you, which is, he I'm, looks, I'm he looks like him. He looks like him and I could be brother and sister. Yeah. He has the same complexion. He has the same color hair. He cut his baby pictures kind of looked like Aladdin. I thought he was very he cute. Was so I adorable. thought he was a cute baby. So I was like, this would be perfect. Um, anyway, we went through a company called California Cryobank. Um, yeah, of course. Thank you. So we went through California Cryobank. It's crazy. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Tinder, but for, right? You just kind of swipe through profiles in a sense on. Yeah, all of their information is there. Uh, yeah, everything from medical history, their, uh, their family's medical history. Do you hear um, she's putting herself to sleep? Yeah, she is. She's so tired. <laughs> I feel terrible. This poor baby. Oh, you're going to go to sleep? Look at how big she is, guys. Like, this is this is not the size of a six-month-old baby. She is massive. <laughs> She's a very, very tall baby. I feel like that's the size of, like, a nine-month-old baby or a one-year-old baby. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we went through California Cryobank. It was extremely, extremely easy. They're a wonderful company to work um, with. Yeah, they really are. It was pretty seamless, even when we went to the fertility doctor, how we, you know, we purchased our... Our, our sperm ahead of time yeah and, and then we they just sent sure. it over right. but we also had to make sure medically yeah. that it jazzed well with Kristen also with me um if we decide to do reciprocal IVF at some time that's kind of what we've been bouncing back and forth if we do IUI again if we do reciprocal for yeah. the next one so yeah, yeah we'll see um let's see what else do we have um Someone said, I joined late. Can you re-answer the question on finding LGBT-friendly doctors for insemination? Um, to be completely honest, uh, we went to a fertility clinic that we were referred to by our regular OBG. Because he was um, affiliated, actually. Yeah, because yeah, I the, think the two of them are affiliated. With the hospital that we delivered at. That's yeah, what. so... And he happened to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, he did. He happened to be amazing. The, um, the fertility doctor that we used was uh, Gold Coast IVF. Um, to New York. Um, I'm trying to think. It's not. It's not really even like we had to go online and like search in any way. But I'm sure you but can he probably. Does have a section, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he does. He yeah, yeah. They do. They have a section on the website that's kind of for uh, same sex couples. They have like a flag and everything on there. I'm trying to think. I wonder if you can just Google. You can because ones that are that are same sex friendly. Yeah. You know what's funny? The the doctors were more concerned with the fact that I was vegan at the time than we were gay. So if that makes you feel any better. Hi, you miss the cake? Yeah. Sorry, guys, she's, uh, she's ducking out early from this uh, quarantine. <laughs> she's like, tonight. sorry, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't hold my dinner. I'm just going to go to sleep yeah. now. Which, this is bad because bedtime? Super soon. This, is, this isn't good. You're going to be up so early tomorrow. It's going to be lovely in the morning. Um, we have another question, which are, uh, what brands of popsicle molds do you use? Um, we have a few actually. The one that we just gave her, this one, it's kind of gross because it's full of pumpkin and peach. So it's kind of gross. But, um, that one's by Dr. Brown's. 
We've um, done a lot of research. Yeah, because the yeah last we've done a lot. We also have ones. I can't remember the brand that the other ones are. It's actually it's like a netting that you can put either whole pieces of fruit in. A lot of times we do fruit purees in there, like stuff that we got a little nervous. We're not sure if she could still get skin even once it was pureed, like blueberry, strawberry, grapes, grapes stuff like that. Um, it works really well. She absolutely loves it. She gets basically the entire amount of the fruit. It just takes a long time once it's frozen. Yeah, applesauce is the for her to work on it. For yeah, it. anything that's mesh that they can't open is fantastic. Yeah, but Dr. Brown's is is also like a phenomenal company. That's where her bottles are from. Also, her glass bottles. Yeah. Um, another question: uh, Could you see the photos of the donors, their height and weight, and so on? Yes. Um, yeah, you are. Mm, I think a lot of uh, cryobank companies that you go on, they show baby pictures. I think for some donors, it's you're able to find um, adult pictures for them, just for some of them. I don't think everybody has that. Like originally when we picked our donor, we hadn't seen adult photos. And then after Kristen was already pregnant, we actually, it just so happened we found out that yeah. they had uploaded adult photos of him. So we're like, oh my God, this is crazy. And it's so funny because... It's kind of a crapshoot. You don't know, you know, I, I don't look like my baby picture, so it's kind of like, are, are oh, you sure that your same. donor is going to look like no, if like their baby picture? You look exactly like... No, if anybody's like, ever gone on my Instagram and looked, my, this is this is my face as a baby. I, I pretty much came out this way. And it's kind of... Minus his, the contour. It's hysterical, yeah. though, because Freya looks exactly like your baby picture. Mm -hmm. You guys just have a different nose. Yeah, she so has she, his nose. Yeah, she has the donor's nose. Um... So, like I said, it's, it's some some donors you can see adult pictures, some you can't. Uh, for everyone that's on California Cryobank, they have body type, uh, whether they're, like, stockier, skinnier, um, you know, it has their height on it. Yeah, it they have I mean, they from, have, like, a lot of information. Yeah, everything from lot physical, of information. Yeah. Yeah, physical, mental, um, also, psychological Also, celebrity lookalikes. Celebrity lookalikes. Which and then, I thought was hysterical. But I think what was most important for us, especially, um, was their like the medical history, it went back two generations on the paternal and maternal yeah. sides. It was crazy. So much information, so invasive, but that's what he signed up for. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there are any other. Don't miss the waves. You missed two waves. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you guys end up seeing the uh, nice gold shaker that we have, that's because <laughs> they hit the wave button. Um, let's see. What was the cost for the donor and the insemination process? I, I think it varies every uh, fertility clinic. It does. Uh, it, it depends. You actually you pay per insemination. Per the, there, there's a fee when you pay for every insemination mm -hmm. that you have done. I'm pretty sure every you know, IUI insemination works the same way how we did it. You had two back-to-back, -back, like one day, and then the next day you were inseminated twice back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. Um. But the insemination but, was two thousand. Yeah, like I, for the doctor, I'm, I'm pretty I sure it varies by. Yeah, I think it varies by doctor. By doctor, depending yeah, on what they charge. Don't be discouraged by price. It's your baby is priceless. So. Yeah, and, and um, a lot of a lot of people can have sometimes have depending on the job that you have, you might have it under. Um, it might be covered under insurance. For us, it wasn't. So yeah, kind of sucked. Yeah, there's also like a whole uh process that you can go through to see if it's covered by insurance based on if uh you're considered infertile, and it's like it goes into a whole thing. Yeah, just ask every single question. Just. Literally write set, everything yeah. down before you go and ask every single question that you want answered. Yeah, and set. don't feel stupid because you have to know the information. Like, you need to make the decision for your family. So don't don't feel stupid. That's true. Please, set. I went there with a clipboard. Like, let's get serious. Oh, yeah. No, no, you did. Sadly, none of that was covered for us. Yeah. But, um, yeah, even for the donor, um, it varies by, you know, cryobank that you go through. There are a bunch of different ones. Like I said, we went through California cryobank. Each donor has a different price. Um, they're all at different price. You could have – it could be between seven ninety five a vial to, what, nine ninety five a vial. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it just depends. And to be honest, I think with California cryobank, um, the price variation um, – uh, what is it? Um, not the amount of times you deposit. Oh, it's the amount of testing that you have done. Oh yeah, so if, if you have the extensive invasive, background yeah, testing, yeah, yeah. that it costs more because you obviously know more about the mm -hmm. you know paternal father than. Yes. Oh, let's Can't see. see. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Heather, what are your quarantine eyebrow grooming tips? Pencil them in because they're non-existent. <laughs> that is my tip. I use. Kristen I'm always makes die. fun of me because she says I make them too long on the sides. I'm gonna die. Yeah, 
She's made fun of me forever because she says my eyebrows are too long on Seven the side. Seven years. I, li- I like a big eyebrow. What's wrong with that? Ooh, who don't love a big eyebrow? No. Um, I, like I use so um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I, I vary. Cozy, right? Yeah, I vary between um, soft brown and uh, in taupe. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, is absolutely hysterical. Let's see. Um, wait, we're missing waves. Up. Oh, I'm trying to get to all the waves here. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, see, I told you that. I knew that would happen. <laughs> Let's see, did I miss any more waves? Okay, another question. Um, how do you make time for your relationship with Freya now? Finally, now that she's sleeping in her crib at night, <laughs> mm-hmm. we finally kind of have our nights back to ourselves, even yeah. just for a few hours at night. Um, she's usually in bed between 7 and 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. So Depends at that time, we you know we sit downstairs in the den, watch TV, have dinner. We've been binge watching Schitt's Creek because it's an amazing show. And it's oh my God, it's so good. Hysterical. So yeah, so we kind of... Yeah, we, like, we eat dinner when she goes to Mm -hmm. sleep now, you know, we cook when she's still awake, but we, like, eat when she goes to bed, and then we watch our TV shows, and then we sometimes just, like, hang out, talk, you know, discuss, like, work things, and then, and then we kind of have to go to bed early, though, because it's just, she starts the day all over again. The waking up up super early is, it's a total killer. I feel like we wake up, it's, I know, I feel like we wake up, it's 6 a.m., Sorry, she was super tired, guys. I feel like we wake up and it's 6 a.m., then all of a sudden it's 11, <laughs> it's 2, and then it's 6 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And then it's time to put her to bed again. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, you just, I think you just have to make another quarantine. You have to just make another quarantine. <laughs> Go through it again. Tell everybody how you did it. So okay, it's- so it's two parts vodka, which we are running out of Tito's. Can you order Tito's online? I don't Is that a so. thing? Can you order vodka online? So. Uh, it's, it's one part peach schnapps. <laughs> like, if you're just joining like, has now. has anybody made it? Like, yeah, did anyone yeah, Did it? anyone actually make one? Does anybody actually have all of these things in their house? Because we have a, a wide variety of schnapps here at our house. For what reason, I don't know. That, what is that? This is iced tea. So it's I'm one. to help you guys. It's one part iced tea, a splash of lemon juice. But I fresh squeezed that. Yeah, we actually we, did. <laughs> we fresh squeeze a lot of juice here. We normally have orange juice, grapefruit juice, lemon that we're constantly fresh squeezing because we're always making either lemonade, grapefruit juice, orange juice, and using it for drinks, I guess. Too. Yeah. <laughs> for our quarantine happy hours. How much agave do you put in? And do you um, have to put agave, or can you use something else? If you you could like use that? regular sugar if you don't have agave. You could basically use any sweetener that you wanted to. I know people have probably put like a Splenda or a Stevia in it if you really like drinks that are sweet. Ugh. No, it is. It's a thing. <laughs> you could do that. So the I'm like, if you have none of this, you could just do Crystal Light and, and vodka, and then you're good or to go. Or if you want to stay healthy during this time, do <laughs> Esther C and vodka. There you go. Esther C and vodka. That should really be the quarantine. Make sure you keep your. Uh... Yeah. All right, so let's do one shake and then and then we gotta go. Yeah. Time to put the baby like to bed in her crib. I feel bad. She's like really asleep. She's like cross-eyed asleep. Yeah. So don't shake that right now. So then you shake it and then you drink it. Don't shake that. I'm like, can I go in the other room no. to shake this? Let's see. What other questions do we have before we sign off? Kelly says Instacart uh, delivers liquor. Oh, well, there you go. If you're running out of liquor, as you know. As we are, I thought we had like an entire handle of Tito's. I guess we didn't. Yeah, I don't know where that went. I have no idea. That's hysterical. Yeah. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, is that another? Is it? No. I was going to say, oh, no, we always do this. But thank you so much again, guys, for joining us. This is, again, like another <laughs> another, another Friday, Friday at the Fizzinos. I'm, like, um, trying to, like, talk, but, like, trying to keep my voice down. But she's, like, totally passed out. So, oh, she's so cute. All right. But thank you guys so much. We just really want to make sure you guys are, are happy when you come here and, you know, you guys are staying safe and healthy and we love you. And it's so good to see you guys when you come back. Um, and if it's your first time. Welcome. Um, you can watch uh, the other uh, Friday at the Fizzinos episodes, I guess you could call it, that we've done on mm-hmm. Only Good TV's YouTube channel, um, as well as our season, which was season two of the creation of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all on Only Good TV's uh, you, uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. And if you guys, you know, if it, you're in different time zones, I know we got that question. Um, if you guys are in different time zones, um, this live is up for 24 hours on Only Good TV's Instagram. And then it also, then once it's done there, after the 24 hours, it, you know, it's transferred over then to their YouTube channel. So if you guys want to watch it again, 
Are you okay? I'm like, we're gonna she go. Twitched. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to go make dinner now because all we do is sit around and cook. That's a lie. We're going to go make more quarantinis. Let's get serious. Okay, fine. I'm going to shake it once the baby's yes. not in the room. Oh, you got to wave. You got to wave. I'm so sorry that we're leaving and you're just joining, but you can definitely watch this. Like, like we said on Only Good TV's uh, Instagram. Um, again, I'm Kristen. This is Heather. I'm Heather. And this that's Freya. Freya. Please, you know, uh, like, share, subscribe, everything from Only Good TV. Um, their content is just amazing. It's lighthearted. It's uplifting. It's nice feel-good stuff. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's And it's a really good diversion, which they put out, they put out daily diversions. So it's just a good way to take your mind off of everything that's going on right now. Yeah. But, um, again, send in your requests about what we should do next week, and we, we will see you next Friday. Send okay. us pictures of your quarantinis. Oh, my Go God, make yes, them do and it. Send pictures, send videos, boomerangs, whatever. We want to see what you guys have done. All right. Bye, guys. Right. Bye, guys. See you See you later. next week. See you later.